Now, the president just said right out there, it looks like the Russians were behind the poisoning of the former spy in Britain. Yep. And by the way, earlier today, France and Germany joined the British in blaming Russia. Nigel Farage is with us now, Fox News contributor. All right, Nigel, you're in the thick of this. You're in London. The thing yep. seems to be escalating really sharply at this point. What's the latest? Yes, it is. I mean, in terms of Theresa May taking the toughest action we've seen since the Cold War, expelling diplomats, talking about looking at, at Russian money and bank accounts in London, uh, the royal family not attending the World Cup soccer uh, that's coming up in Russia this summer. So, yeah, a lot of action's been taken. A consensus here, a global consensus, uh, surrounds an idea that it was not just Russian people that did this, but that it was the Russian administration that did this. And I hope they're right, because they haven't actually got any evidence. What they've got is they know this chemical was produced in Russia, uh, but I just, for the sake of people's faith and trust in politics and our leaders, I hope they're right. Uh, I can't imagine what the feeling must be like in Britain when you've got this clearly deadly nerve agent yeah. loose in a part of the country. Was the reaction panic, rage, anger? What was it? Oh, I think in Salisbury, which is a, you know, a sort of middling-sized uh, market town. We call it a city because it's got a cathedral, but it's not a big place. And, you know, for 500 people to be told they must scrupulously wash their clothes, their glasses, their rings, whatever it may be, uh, people are really worried um, about this. We now have further down the road in the adjoining county um, another, you know, potential area where this nerve agent is. So I, I do think in that part of the world people are very worried worried. Is there panic among the public at large? No. I think we see this as a sort of attempted killing as part of a vendetta that basically got botched. But what we don't know is whether the Russian state sanctioned this or whether somebody with access to materials was seeking to settle a score. And that's the bit that we simply don't know. I remember when Kim Jong-un of North Korea had one of his relatives killed in an airport, I think it was in Malaysia, yeah. using yeah. some kind of nerve poison gas agent. Yes. At the time, that was called tantamount to an act of war. Now you've got this attack with a nerve agent in Britain. In your mind, Nigel, is it an act of war? If it's shown well, that it is the Russian government or military that did it. Well, what it certainly is, is an act of terrorism. You know, had this been a hardline Islamic group or an extreme right-wing group, we would now be calling it terrorist. This needs to be called terrorist. If we can prove that Vladimir Putin sanctioned not just the taking out of a former agent who he himself sees as a traitor, but endangering the lives of hundreds of people in a British city, uh, then that would be tantamount to an act of war. But I do, as I say, advise caution, because in my experience, when you get unanimity in politics, when everybody agrees, they're not always right. <laughs> we shall remember that, Nigel Farage. Good to see you again, sir. We'll see you again Thank real you. soon.